Hello guys, <clears throat> today we're doing a really quick video, uh, I haven't been making videos in a while, but anyways, uh, in one of the last videos I mentioned that um, the Orient's make or bracelet is, uh, well, basically crap, total piece of shit, and yeah, you don't want to wear that. So, what I did was, I upgraded, uh, I bought a bracelet. Hmm. Let me look for for something to wipe it just a little bit <clears throat> because my watch is not clean. Sorry about that. There we go. This is a Milanese mesh from Watch Gecko. It's not cheap at all. It's not cheap at all. Uh, bracelet. Uh, it was around forty-four pounds when I got it. Now it's about thirty-eight, which is a really good deal mm. if you are interested in a mesh bracelet uh, the options are 22 millimeters here a little width or uh, 20 there are no no 18 millimeters but still you can see this thing I mean look at the clasp look at the clasp look at this everything is really nice uh, you can adjust it here uh, this is uh, uh, this pin is removable. Also, you have six micro adjustments. You can see that I'm on the second one. The mesh itself is really nice made. And let me try to show you. You can see that the logo here, Gekota. You can see that. I'm sorry, it's not very clean. I tried to wipe it. And, okay, yeah, see? It's fine. It's not fine. Oh my god. Hmm. Can't seem to find my hmm, my watch Giko cloth to wipe it with, but whatever. Check it out. It is a really nicely made clasp. I mean, almost no noise. As I mentioned, uh, this comes actually in two versions: uh, 150 millimeters or 170 millimeters. Uh, this is the 150 millimeter one. Uh, I have a small wrist. <clears throat> Let me show it on the wrist how it looks. This is my Seiko. I showed you this one. The SNKL41K1, I believe. Did I remember that correctly? Correctly, probably. I don't know. Uh, it's not uh, no press release. Just okay force you gotta force it in like friction based clasp here's the double security look at it this is the polished version they, they also uh, offer a, mm, a satin one i think it looks fantastic and also no rattle no rattle this is much better quality than the the stock bracelet uh if you are into wearing a diver on a mesh uh, they offer this one, they also offer uh, shark meshes, shark mesh is a little bit more expensive uh, I do believe it will be probably fantastic value for money too because uh, if you look at this one, I mean I do believe that Milanese mesh, this the finer mesh is gonna be tougher to to make and to offer it at that price with that clasp with that fantastic clasp, milled one, I mean, it's just, look at it, it's stunning. Um, for that price, it really suits the watch, fantastic, and makes it, makes it much better. Much better, much more quality uh, looking watch. And yeah, look at them both. Japanese dudes, they look awesome. Hmm. Let me check to try the loom. You want a loom shot? Let's try a loom shot on uh, hmm. I'm putting it here under the lamp that I got and I'm gonna turn it off after. Let me check this out. No. 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 This camera does not adjust at all. At all. Try something else. 
will it pick it up? <laughs> nope. Nobody. Well, oh, sorry about that. Hmm, okay. But, yeah. Well, at least I tried. But, yeah, I cannot get you a proper loom shot. But, anyways, and this is not the point of the video. Uh, the point is that this mesh. Uh, 3.1, 3.2 millimeter thick, I believe, something like that. Uh, watch Gecko. Gecko, watch Gecko, check him out. If you need a bracelet, if you need a nice, good bracelet for your watch, for your diver, they offer a lot of meshes. Check the meshes. Really good ones. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, sorry for the... If the video is crappy, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a really quick one, but uh, I will try to, to make more videos... Uh, Although there are no more watches, but I'll try to figure something out to review. And yeah, again, thank you for watching. Have a good one.